Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Fads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. We are a high protein, low calorie type of channel. We show you some recipes. Uh, there's a website where you can print all our recipes www.plantbasedfads.net. If you like what you hear, please click that like button and uh, click that bell and you get notified every time we have a new video. All right, so uh, I'd like to quick thank our sponsor, uh, Compliment. Okay. We'll talk about them later on in the video, right? Okay. And then uh, to our financial supporters who helped the show happen because Absolutely. without them, we wouldn't have the we wouldn't have this show. So thank you to uh, Patreon and PayPal supporters and the people who just leave money in the comments uh, below, which is really nice. So what are we doing today? Okay, so excited about today's um, uh, video. So we are doing um, Greek yogurt. In the Instant Pot. In the Instant Pot. Not only are we showing you how to do this, we're showing you how it fails also. Like this is a kind of a master class on how it works, what to do, what could go wrong, and how to recover, right? Absolutely. So uh, it's not going to be a waste if you uh, spent or used that much soy milk. Right. Um, exactly. We're going to, and like, we, we just filmed, like, and we've been making this for weeks. So today's not our first day we've ever made this, but we were hoping to run into some of the problems we've run into before, and we did. And we just wanted to show you how it really works and how to recover. Absolutely. And then why do we think this is so important? Because the Greek yogurt, we're making it homemade, it's gonna have the probiotics that we need. Yeah. Um, there's opens a door for so many different uses oh, yeah. as far as dressings, um, from you know tacos, pizzas, etc. We're gonna talk about all the opportunities okay. to use that for sure. All right, you ready to show awesome. the video? Yes. Let's yes. get to the food. Well, to get started with our yogurt here, one of the things we need to do is uh, we have to sterilize everything we're going to use to make sure that you, know, you do this with bread, right? Exactly. And you can use vinegar and hot water. We're just going to use boiling water from our tea kettle. So I'm going to show yeah. you that this is everything we're using. We're using the Instant Pot, so we're going to take all the stuff to the sink and pour hot water in it. But this, we're using the Instant Pot insert right here, right? This is our, our six-quart duo. We're using this whiskey whiskey thing, right? And then we're going to use a uh, thermometer here, just a kitchen thermometer. This is actually a meat thermometer, but we don't really meat. Uh, I don't know if I've ever used this before, but this will be to make sure that we get the, the milk to temperature. Yeah. So I think our candy one broke, so yeah, this is guys. all we got, you know? So we're going to take this right now and go to the sink, and we're just going to like put hot water in it, steaming hot water from the tea kettle just to to uh, you know to get all the bacteria out. All right, Tim, so what are we doing here? Okay, boiling water from our tea kettle, all right. and I'm just going along the edges here, and it just kind of kills everything, right? Yeah, it's already clean, right? It's gone through the dishwasher and the sanitized cycle, right? right. So, <laughs> that didn't make the whole pan <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, you just poured it down the sides, right? All right, and then we have the other pieces to put in still, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, could we just have put them right in there? Uh, not really, because then we would have to pick them out, right? Okay. So, All right, so, so now we're, we're gonna pour a little bit more hot water right here. You've got the tea kettle right here, right? Yeah, and this is taking care of the whisk. All right. So that'll go in the pot. And then the thermometer part. Yeah. Watch it get that whole metal and get hot. All right. So all of these things have been sterilized now. Yes. Okay. So the recipe is broken up into a few steps over a few different days. But to get started. To get started, we need to start with the first two ingredients. So let's look at the milk we're going to use. We're making soy yogurt because it's higher in protein. So we're using this, uh, this uh, Eden soy uh, organic soy milk. And the reason we're using this is because the ingredients, uh, do I list the ingredients over here? The ingredients right here are purified water and soybeans. That's it. You don't want any carrageenans or any of that stuff. No right? sugars. None of that stuff. stuff. So you just want this. It's just the plain unsweetened soy milk. So we're going to dump this in here. You want to shake that first? Yeah, you know what? Let's shake it up first. And we're going to put two quarts in here. Well, those are easy measurements, Joey, because these come in one right. quart cartons. There's so. nothing to measure. You don't have to get the scale out. We just like dump the dump the milk in, and that's it, right? Well, there are some people who you're playing music in their ears with that. Yeah. Now let's get the other one in. If you want to avoid splashing, I usually pour right into the wall of the container. All right. So that's looking good there. All right. So this is where the protein from our yogurt is going to come from. All right. So now we do have a starter, but we're not putting it in yet. The next thing we're going to do is bring this. Uh, bring this milk up to temperature. Now, we've made this before, and for, you shouldn't have to do this because the Instant Pot takes care of it, but, but it fails when we don't do this. So, exactly. I'm going to turn the Instant Pot on to the yogurt setting. Uh, it's going to put in 12 hours, but I'm not doing that yet. I'm just bringing it up to temperature. So, I'm going to wait for it to come on and let it come up to temperature. All right, I think temperature 
has been achieved. Yeah, so we've uh, heated this up. We've just set it on the yogurt setting here, and without the yeast, without the what's the, without the starter in it, just to kind of get it between 100 and 110. And you'll see here in a minute that we're going to be just over 100 degrees, which is going to be fine. I just don't want it to get past 110. We're right at about 100 degrees. So the pot is bringing this up to the correct temperature. So you shouldn't have to do this, but we're starting it with the milk already warm. All right? Yes. We're using uh, this vegan uh, starter culture here. Uh, we got this on Amazon. It, there's four packets in it, so Tim's going to open one of those packets in. Uh, he used the scissor right here. And then we're just going to dump this in here. Now, when we're done with this, pa this packet of starter, we're just going to take, what is it, a tablespoon? From our last batch? Yes, you could, for your starter, you could just put in some of your last batch. And remember, I sterilized my uh, my whisk here, right? So I'm uh, just kind of mixing this all up and getting this whisked in. I don't want to go crazy with it, and that's kind of it. So that's all I need to do right here, right? Yeah, that's what we did last time, right? So. And the Instant Pot for this part doesn't use the, uh, the pressure function. No. Right? It's just like keeping it at 110 degrees. You could, if you didn't have this pot, you could put this in the oven uh, with just a light on and wrap it in a towel and that would work too. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but the Instant Pot makes a glass cover when you're making yogurt. Did you know that? So yes. There'll, yes. Be a link be, be, there'll be a link in the uh, description below on uh, where you can get this. I'm going to turn this on to yogurt. Yeah, so one of the things I like to do is I like to put a towel down right here. All right now, put that on. Just because it creates a lot of like moisture. Yeah, condensation. Yeah, and I don't actually. want the water dripping back in here and making it like too watery. I'm always afraid it's not gonna not gonna firm up. All right, now let's go ahead and put the uh, uh, the, the instant pot on. All right, so we're just gonna press the yogurt button right here, and we're gonna set it for 12 hours. Just leave it right there. And that's what we're doing. The longer it cooks, the more tangier or tart it gets. So if you don't like it as tangy or tart, then back it down to 10 hours, yeah. right? Uh, the one we made at 12 hours was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Or the ones we've made at 12 hours were absolutely amazing. So I'm fine with that. So we're going to let this cook for 12 hours. It's uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night right now. And I specifically did this now. So I'm at the house where I can take it out at 7.30 in the morning before I go to work, all right? So make sure you plan that. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning uh, at about 7.30 a.m. You'll know that it's done because on the front of the Instant Pot, once the, the 12 hours is up or whatever time you set, it's gonna say yogurt. So that means it is done and we're ready for the next step. So here's what we're gonna do next. We're just going to take the, the Instant Pot. First of all, we're gonna uh, take this off here, and let me just take a peek inside and see if it's uh, if it's done its thing. Let's see what we got here, and we've just got milk. That's it. All right. So this did not work, and this happens. So this didn't work, and normally I would just cut this part of the video out, but I just I want to show you what to do if this happens. There's no yogurt here. Like this this is just milk, right? This isn't gonna work. So if that does happen, this milk is still just milk. It's still completely usable. So you have a few options. One, you could just use it as milk. Or two, I'm just gonna restart the process. So I'm gonna put this in here and get it a feel for what the temperature is in here. And we just want it to be under 110 here. And I did re-sterilize this thing again. It looks like we're right there, so that's good. So again, I'm gonna put a new packet of uh, starter in. Make sure I get it all in. I'm gonna use a spoon this time. I sterilize this again and just kind of mix it all in here. And I'm just gonna do the same process and start it over again for 12 more hours. So I've reset this to 12 hours. I'm just doing the process again. This does happen. I don't know why it happens, but it does. It's happened to me before and the second time it always takes. Uh, maybe I need to try another starter culture or maybe just try it using a, uh, a bit of uh, the previous batch, but this will work this time. See you in 12 hours. All right, 12 hours have passed. Now, let's see if we've got yogurt. All right, I can smell it. It smells pretty good. Oh, that looks good right there. There's a crack in it. That means it has set. That's amazing. All right. So you can see that we've got yogurt here. 
And I'm going to, well, I don't want to put anything in it yet, but I mean, it's cracking. So, I mean, right there, you can see that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the insert out of the Instant Pot and just let it sit on the counter for two hours. We just kind of want to get it to come to room temperature here. So I'm going to move the Instant Pot out of the way here. Right here. And I'm going to pop this right here. And I'm going to take the insert and pop it down right here. And because I micromanage every single part of my life, don't be funny, you know it's true. I'm going to put a little note right here to myself to put this in the fridge in two hours at 945. This way, if, you know, someone comes down and they're like, from upstairs, oh, I'm going to put this in the fridge, you know, Joey left this out, they don't put it in the fridge, they can see it's got to sit. So, on day two, it's on the counter for two hours and then in the fridge for 12 more hours. So right now it's on the counter, I'm going to give it two hours. All right, two hours has passed, uh, it's doing its thing. And all I'm going to do on day two here is take this and throw it in the fridge for 12 hours. Day three, we'll take it out, put it in the strainer. See you tomorrow. All right, this is day three. And this has been sitting in the refrigerator for about 12 to 15 hours. For me, it's been about 15. I'm gonna take this off here, and it's looking pretty good. So right now, this is vegan soy yogurt. You can eat this the way it is, just whip it up, it's gonna be really good. But we want it to be Greek yogurt. We really want it to be like thicker, and I want it to have much more concentrated protein. So here's what we're gonna do with this. We need to run it through a strainer. I'm gonna move this aside for a second. And I've got this kind of yogurt strainer, Greek yogurt maker thing. This is the Euro Cuisine uh, yogurt strainer, the Greek yogurt maker. I'll put a link to this in the description below this video. And here's what you do with it. You kind of have this piece here and it sits in here, right? Uh, and you dump the yogurt in here and over two days, it just kind of, the way just kind of and the whey is what you call, I know whey is a dairy thing, but the whey is what you call the dripping, the liquid from the yogurt that drips off. Uh, it just kind of drips through this and, and that's it. So I'm going to pour the yogurt into this, well not pour, but use a spoon, and then we're gonna throw this in the fridge for two days. So let's get started. All right, I'm just gonna take this in the biggest pieces I can and just kind of get it in here without trying to make too much of a mess. And you can see it's looking pretty good now, right? Like it's yogurt. I could whip this up and this is gonna be really nice, but I want Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna keep going till I get all of this out of here. Man, this smells so good. Holy smoke, it smells like yogurt already. Like this is very edible. If I didn't, if I wasn't so worried about getting the exact amount of grams out of this after it's all done, I would eat some of it right now. But I want the whole batch to be correct, so so I can do my macros. All right, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, kind of get it all over here. So I've got my yogurt in this strainer thing, which is a Greek yogurt maker, which is basically just straining soy yogurt and getting the whey out of it to make it really thick Greek yogurt. And you can see right here, like, it's already starting, right? The liquid's now starting to come through and, and it's doing its thing. So this is just gonna continue for two days. So I'm gonna take this, it's day three. On day three, you stick this from the Instant Pot into this yogurt maker, put the cover on it, and get this into the fridge for two days, for 48 hours. That's how long you want it to drain. And trust me when I tell you this, it needs the second day. It's gonna look like it drained a lot after the first day, but let it go the second day. All right, I'm throwing this in the fridge. We'll see you in two days on day four, which is actually day five, but day four of this process. All right, day four, the unveiling. So let's take off the cover here and see what this looks like. Before I even do that, I wanna show you here, I've been making marks on the side of this container like every 15 hours or something or 12 hours to kind of see, is it even still draining, right? Uh, and you can kind of see that it is. So we're at the point where it hasn't really drained much since yesterday and look at that, holy sh smoke. I almost said the S word. It smells amazing. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this out of here into something that I can weigh, and I'm gonna weigh this whole thing. And then we're gonna go over how I figured out the macros and what all what the macros actually are. All right, so I've got my uh, scale under here, and I don't know, you really can't see it. Uh, the the display's there. I measure, I'm tearing it out with the uh, glass on it, with the bowl, and I'm setting it to grams. 
There we go. And now it's at zero grams. And I'm just going to take this yogurt right here and get as much of it as I can, all of it, into, oh, look how thick that is. Guys, look how thick that is. Like, holy smoke. I'm going to get all of that into this container right here so I can get it all measured. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. Oh, man, look at this. All right, all out into the container. I need to get every bit that I'm going to eat out of this so I can figure out how much I'm starting with. That's how I'll know what I'm going to use for each serving. So let's get it all out and get it all into this bowl. All right, so my total weight on this, I don't know if you can see it. Let me squeeze it over here. My total weight on this is 821 grams. It just said 822. I'm going to go with that because now it says 822. I'm going to go with that because it's easier to divide. 822 grams for the whole bowl. All right. 822 grams. Now, the way I figured this out is I put all my ingredients into chronometer. So the ingredients on the screen here are vegan yogurt starter culture. And then I put in eight cups, which is two quarts of the organic soy milk. Together, that whole thing is about 941 calories. So I'm weighing this, and I'm going to break this up into six servings. It will give me 156.9 calories each serving, 8.1 grams of fat each serving, 5.4 carbohydrates of each serving, and 16 grams of protein each serving. How did I come up with six servings? It's easy. I didn't want the calories to be more than 150. So at 156.9, I didn't want to have more calories than that. So I could have went four servings, but I would have had more calories. The same thing with the protein. It's 16 grams of protein. I didn't want less protein than that. So if I went with eight servings instead of six, I would have had much less protein, probably around 12. So six servings is what I'm going to get out of this. And since the whole bowl was 822 grams, if you take 822 grams and divide it by six, you get 137 grams per serving. So yours might be less it might be more. I don't know what your weight's going to be. It all depends on how much whey dripped out of that. But whatever this amount is, it'll still be the same macros if you use six servings out of this. If you make this into six servings exactly the way I did, you'll still have 156 calories, 8 grams of uh, fat, 5 grams of carbohydrates, and 16 grams of protein. This is so cool. All right, it's time to put this in containers. So I'm just going to measure 137 grams on each one of these until I've got all six containers filled and then we'll be ready to move on with our lives. Six servings of Greek style vegan yogurt. This is amazing. It's time to talk about what we're going to do with this. Creatine. It's not just for bodybuilders. Hey, it's not just for men, which we hear a lot about. It's for women as well of all ages. So creatine supports brain and reproductive health, uh, energy, muscle growth, and recovery. Some of the evidence-based benefits of creatine is that it supports cellular energy production, cognitive function, and longevity. Complement delivers the purest, cleanest form of creatine you can buy. Complement's creatine is fast dissolving in water. I really just throw it in a protein shake, five grams, but you can easily dissolve it in water. Yeah, which is a big deal because it's, then it's not gritty and yeah. stuff. But on top of that, this bag is compostable. So all so, of their bags are compostable. Yeah. Everything they sell is compostable. Yeah, you see us using glass jars, etc. It's it's on our mind. It's a big deal. And why, why is it important to us? Because we have a composter. Because we're composters, yes. right. Yes. Trying to do everything again to save the environment, right? Hey, the planet. Every little step. I mean, every little help, step helps. It does. Good karma. Another great thing about all the complement products is that they're third-party tested yes. uh, and developed throughout through their transparent uh, production process so there's nothing to hide yeah it's a big deal to have third party tested it's what i look for in all the supplements yeah. we buy on top of that every order that's placed with complement they provide a free plant-based meal to a child in need i love that like, i love that they're providing a plant-based meal to something something healthy right they're not just giving out like milk and cheese so this to me that's a big deal that's, that's important deal. yeah because i mean i work with children i'm a teacher if you do a subscription on this and actually some of their other products you get the subscription starter kit with this beautiful free uh, metal complement shaker. This not only works for the creatine, right? It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got yeah. some weight to it. 
but it works for the, the protein mix also. So uh, quite a few of their products. So often these are in plastic, so it's good oh, yeah. to see. No, this is great. I took this on vacation with me. I'm going to call it a vacation. I have 40 kids with me. But I took this to Japan with me uh, and uh, used it to shake up my protein mix. It was amazing. It was like it was in a blender. It was fantastic. And if that's not enough, don't take our word for it. They have a 100-day, 100% money-back guarantee. Nice. You're either going to like it or they'll take it back. There's no risk. And we partnered with Compliment to offer you 15% off on your order by using our link in the description below and our code PLANTBASEDADS at checkout. So you get 15% off on a pure product from a company with a long history of being cruelty-free and it's guaranteed. That's an offer you just can't pass up. I love it. Stop, Stop supplementing. supplementing. Start complimenting. There you go. That only took 11 takes. Okay. All right, so you can see there, we struggled with it the first time, right? Like it just didn't turn out. So here's my experience with that. So, you know, in the first Instapot uh, segment that we did, we had two milks, right? Two cartons of milk and one packet of yogurt, yes. right? And it turns out, and every time I use that, that brand, that packet, which is all we have, other than our already pre-made yogurt, uh, every time I use that, that happens. The first time it doesn't work. So I added a second packet, right? Yes, yes. And it worked fine. So after that, I started filming, right? I right. thought, okay, I'm just gonna film using the two milks and the two packets. Boom, right? The same thing happened. Uh, 12 hours later, as you saw, we just had milk, yeah. right? So I added a third packet. Yeah. And it was fine. So I don't know what it is with that brand, but I, there's something with that brand where it needs to do 12 hours and then add a packet and do another 12 hours. Yeah. And then from that, this week, we did a couple other uh, recipes. Okay. Uh, one was uh, taking uh, a jar that we had weighed out and put that in. So we used that as our starter. Yeah. And that turned out amazing. Yeah. So, so at, as an as a alternative. You don't have to buy starter. If you have your yogurt, or you can go to the store and get some Kite Hill, right? Just use that as your starter. I used one full serving. You saw us put them in the servings. It's right here. I dumped that in. Yep. And in, in uh, two uh, things of milk, two boxes of milk. And the first time, it worked fine. Yep. And then the next thing we tried were two um, digestive enzyme probiotic. Yeah. Tim wanted to go. Capsules. Yeah, Tim wanted to take advantage of this opportunity and start throwing his uh, hocus pocus in. <laughs> yeah, and that worked fine. And it worked just yeah. fine as well. So here, here's what I gathered from that. Right, it wasn't because our stuff wasn't sterilized. It wasn't because we had the wrong milk with something in it. That and starter may just doesn't work. Yes, yeah. and it wasn't because of temperature. Because no. then we started second guessing, and we had two different Instapots yeah. going on. Yeah, literally had an with, Instapot farm of yogurt made with, there. Yeah, with thermostats uh, both on the surface and uh, uh, like a thermometer injectable. Yeah. We were so. using so many different products. We had two inch pots out, just measuring just temperatures, making sure, right? Yeah. And it's so much simpler than that. But yeah, don't, so, but don't give up. Well, so if your starter did not work, you got a bad batch or something, you can recycle or redo that again. Well, what we've learned, right? And we did all this. Tim's in pet biology and I'm a teacher. We both need to know how things work, right? We <laughs> wanted to determine, was it the temperature? Was it something that wasn't sterilized? What, I mean, what was it? And here's what we determined. Those packets, they don't always work, right? Yeah, and the, um, I had seen comments on that. So if that happens, don't give up or don't throw away that soy milk that you just bought that you spent you know money on so yeah don't throw that away it's all recoverable and if you decide not to make another 12 hours if you decide you don't want to invest 12 more hours in it that milk is still just milk right yes. just yes. use it as milk you don't have to throw it away right so there's all that but seriously once you've made the yogurt yep. you don't have to buy a starter anymore you just take one of these servings dump it in your next two cups two buck quarts of milk yep. and start your next batch right or a half a cup so if you bought something from the store, yeah. half a cup. Yeah. Any yogurt will work as your starter. Yeah. So with the micros, when we when we converted this from regular yogurt to then the Greek style, yeah. it's more condensed. Let's talk about some things we can use this for because we went through a lot of trouble to show you how to make this so we can show you the benefits yeah. of it. This what's opens some, so many doors. Yeah. What's some of the things you, you're you working on? Okay. So for this week, um, I took this uh, in a bowl with some frozen blueberries, uh, put a little granola or oats on top. Um, and then I put a little bit of that, the no sugar maple syrup, just as a little sweetener. So perfect. But yeah, so perfect. 
Delicious. Yeah. Um, I think great. We, yeah, it's, we breakfast, great option. And when have we been able to do that? No, know? we have not. So, yeah. yeah. So that's one of the options. Another thing is we've been like trying to, before I became a, a, a vegan, I used to use yogurt for dressings. That's oh. really what I bought them for. Okay, I would okay. make salad dressing with yogurt, which is amazing, right? But we haven't been able to do that because one, there's, there's the vegan yogurts really haven't been high in protein, right? Two, high enough, yeah. Yeah, and two, mm. they're just kind of empty calories, right? Yeah. So. But, but, when, but when you make your own, all of a sudden you know what's in it. Exactly. And there's just a lot more peace of mind, I think. Yeah, this you is know. just soybeans. That's all that was in there in the box to start with, right? Yeah, you know. So I think the point is we're yeah. using a lot of this on a lot of different things. So we've got a lot of new recipes that are coming. So. I think that's the point. Is yeah. like, is this worth the trouble? It and is. I really think it is. Well, and then to figure out like a Kite Hill, a jar of Kite Hill this size... It's pretty expensive. It it's is. more than the cost of the two milks. And if you can find it. If you can find it, right. And we did have issues with that, right? <laughs> All right, so that's our video for today. Uh, homemade, Greek style, Instant Pot yogurt. Anything we're using, there's a link to down below in the description, like the strainer and all that stuff. But you can really do that just through a strainer with cheese cloths. Like you can, you don't have to buy anything, but really that was 14 bucks. It was yeah. a cool tool. Hit that like button, show some love, click on the subscribe button, click on that bell, you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday, and leave a comment below. Are you attempting, uh, I told Deb about this. She's like, I'm doing the same thing. I swear, the two of us are just doing the same crap. Like, Not even talking. Yeah, without even yeah, talking, yeah. we're doing the same crap every Anyway, I love this high protein addition to our life. Maybe your life. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I like to throw it in the protein shake, but you can easily dissolve it in water. Hey, and this bag, combustible. All of their bags are not combustible. Combustible? <laughs> combustible. Explosive, let me tell you. No. <laughs> Shocking. Compostable. I think, I think the whole video is on Compostable. Fire. Burning down. <laughs>